After crossing a thousand kilometers of Arctic white and stunning blue, the black orb of the East Greenland Ice Core project stands out like a bowling ball on a skating rink. But the real action at East Grip, as it's called, is underground. Trevor Pop leads the team drilling through two and a half kilometers of ice. It's minus 28 there. And um, just come in and look to your right, you'll see an ice core, I think. Trapped in these ice cores are tiny bubbles of ancient air that are a record of thousands of years of Earth's climate history. So this ice uh, comes from 754 meters down and it's on the order of uh, 6,000 years old. That's a critical period for the East Grip team. Earth was warmer then than it is now. This ice may provide clues about what to expect from today's global warming. But this ice is exceptionally brittle. It's minus 30 down inside the ice sheet, but the drilling room is only minus 10. The temperature shock can crack the ice. It kind of breaks your heart when you do all this. You get these beautiful cylinders up, put it on the table, and then it starts to just pop, 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 pop. You can, you can hear it like Rice Krispies. Glaciologist Jurgen Peter Steffensen has been drilling ice cores for 37 years. The solution, he says? It sounds completely ridiculous and backwards, but actually we mounted a freezer unit in a snow cave inside the Greenland ice sheet. The freezer protects the cores from thermal shock while they wait to give up the secrets of their past. East Grip's international team of scientists also drills for clues about the Earth's future, Stephenson says. Greenland's ice sheet is shrinking faster than expected. We don't know if this shrinking is going to be a linear, straightforward process that you can predict. And that's why we are drilling at, uh, at East Grip. East Grip sits on a stream of ice that's moving fast for a glacier, but scientists do not know why. Stephenson says knowing how ice streams flow into the sea is key to predicting how much and how fast the waters will rise. If something odd is going on at the base in these ice streams, and there are a lot of ice streams in Western Arctic too, then it can upset the entire apple cart. All of a sudden you would have an unstable ice sheet that might break away, not over several centuries, but over a couple of decades. And that would be disastrous. The East Grip team won't reach the bottom of the ice sheet for a couple years. That's a few more seasons of work, about as far away from anywhere as you can get. Steve Barragona, VOA News, somewhere over Greenland.